Imagine this. Nearly one in five adults in the United States experiences mental illness in a given year. That's about 43.8 million people. It's not just a few isolated cases we're talking about here. This is a widespread issue that affects millions, seeping into our everyday lives. These startling statistics speak volumes about the prevalence of mental illness and highlight a disturbing trend, the normalization of abnormal behavior. With such staggering numbers, it's crucial to understand how abnormal behaviors have become normalized and more importantly, what we can do about it. Normalization simply refers to the process by which abnormal behaviors become accepted as normal. It's like adjusting the lens through which we view the world until what once seemed strange or unsettling now appears commonplace. Let's take a look at a few real life scenarios. Picture a high stress work environment where employees are routinely putting in overtime. Over time, these long hours become the norm, and the idea of a healthy work-life balance begins to feel like a luxury rather than a necessity. Or consider a society where it's common to skip meals to stay thin. This unhealthy practice becomes so accepted, it's seen as the standard, making it harder for people to recognize the negative impact on their physical and mental health. And how about the normalization of constant connectivity? With our phones always within reach, we're expected to be available 24 7 This can lead to an unhealthy attachment to our devices, causing anxiety and stress, yet it's often viewed as just part of modern life. As we can see, normalization can lead us to overlook serious issues, creating a culture where mental health struggles are ignored or minimized. So, what happens when we normalize abnormal behavior? This question leads us into a maze of consequences that impact both individuals and society. When abnormal behavior becomes the new normal, it can set off a chain of events with far-reaching effects. For instance, consider mental health. The normalization of high-stress lifestyles, constant overload and burnout can lead to increased rates of mental illnesses such as anxiety and depression. By accepting these conditions as normal, we inadvertently create a society where mental distress is commonplace and often overlooked. Moreover, this normalization can reduce help-seeking behavior. If everyone around you seems to be juggling a million things at once, you might feel like you're just not keeping up, rather than recognizing that the stress you're under is unhealthy. This can prevent people from seeking help when they need it, exacerbating mental health issues further. Lastly, a lack of understanding or empathy for those struggling with mental health issues can arise. If society views high levels of stress or burnout as the norm, it can create an environment where those who can't cope are seen as weak or incapable. This lack of empathy can make it even harder for those struggling to seek help and find support. Let's look at a case study. Consider a young professional working in a high-pressure job, putting in long hours and constantly feeling stressed. If their environment normalizes this behavior, they might not even realize they're heading towards burnout. They might not seek help and their colleagues may not recognize the signs of distress. This normalization in turn leads to a significant mental health crisis. Clearly, the normalization of abnormal behavior can have serious consequences for individuals and society as a whole. It's not all doom and gloom though. There are steps we can take to challenge the normalization of abnormal behavior. Firstly, let's talk about education. Knowledge truly is power, and this couldn't be more applicable when it comes to mental health. The more we understand about the nuances of mental health, the easier it becomes to identify when something isn't quite right. Educate yourself and share that knowledge. Books, documentaries, podcasts, and accredited online resources are all excellent places to start. Secondly, advocacy is key. We need to use our voices to push for better mental health policies, both in our workplaces and in our governments. This could mean lobbying for mental health days at work, advocating for increased mental health funding, or simply speaking up when we see harmful behaviors being normalized. Thirdly, remember that it's okay to seek help. Too often, we try to handle everything on our own, but reaching out for support is not a sign of weakness. Quite the opposite, in fact. It's a sign of strength and self-awareness. If you're struggling, consider reaching out to a mental health professional or trusted loved one. There are also numerous hotlines and online resources available if you need immediate assistance. Lastly, let's not forget the importance of self-care. Taking time for yourself, engaging in activities you enjoy, and ensuring you're getting enough rest are all crucial components of maintaining good mental health. By taking these steps, we can work towards a society where mental health is taken seriously 
and abnormal behavior is not simply brushed under the carpet. In conclusion, the normalization of abnormal behavior is a pervasive issue with wide-ranging impacts. We've learned about the startling statistics, the concept of normalization, its profound effects, and the steps we can take to address it. It's essential to be aware of this issue as it shapes our society and affects our mental health. Let's challenge the norm and create a safer, healthier environment for all. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on mental health at Glee Glow Junction. We're dedicated to keeping you informed and empowered. Take care, and remember, together we can build a supportive and resilient community. Stay tuned for the next Glee Glow Junction.